Father in heaven, we thank you for the service, songs, praises, went up to your glory and honor. Lord, we thank you. We ask you to look on each and every heart, every soul, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for the word of God. We ask you to bless each and every heart. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Thank you. Heal the sick and set the captive free. We thank God. Thank God. Amen. Amen. God bless you. you. May be seated. First, give honor to God to the conduct to all the saints of God to heal my wife, to all of the ministers' wives and ministers tonight. Praise the Lord. We thank the Lord for each and every one. Truly, it's a blessing to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. It's a blessing to be saved. And blessed to be sanctified. Praise the Lord, which means set apart. Praise the Lord. This is where people fail. They need to sanctify themselves. And the Lord said, the Lord, the Lord of peace will sanctify you holy. Isn't that right? Amen. We have to sanctify ourselves. Amen. And the very God of peace will sanctify you holy. Praise the Lord. The whole being will be sanctified when you sanctify yourself. The Lord is good tonight. Amen. We thank him for all he has done. Praise the Lord. Because without him, we wouldn't be able to stand here today. He blessed us to go to our job, various ones on his job. He didn't have to wake you up, but he did. Amen. Amen. He sang song. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Praise the Lord. Amen. He went to the cross. He didn't have to, Amen. but he did. Right. Amen. Some people take life, though they're going to live forever. Right. Praise the Lord. You're not going to live forever over him. Amen. There's a laying down over him. Amen. One way or another. We gonna, you gonna, hey man, you're going to shed this body. Right. You're going to have to come out this body. See, this body not gonna last. Right. Praise the Lord. And those that say, those that want to say, the Bible said they're gonna be chained in a moment and twinkling of an eye. Praise the Lord. They're gonna be called up to be with the Lord. Right. Praise the Lord. Amen. And say the dead in Christ shall rise first. Right. They that remain shall be caught up with them with the Lord. Amen. amen. And so many people think that amen, that day ain't coming, but it's coming. Amen. amen. I may go to sleep before he come back, but he's gonna wake me up. Praise the Lord. So those that have lived like he said, his reward is going to be with him. He is not going to forget you. Those that live in ungodly, believe me, you're going to raise up, but amen, you ain't getting up to everlasting life. Amen. amen. But you're going to, this body, you're going to have to lay it down. Amen. You may, may as well lay it down now, because after a while, it's too late. Right. Amen. Say, pray the Lord. You know, if you die in your sins, guess what? Pray the Lord. In hell, you're going to lift up your eyes. Praise the Lord. You know, that's we're living in a time of judgment. Amen. When judgment is falling in the land everywhere. Amen. My Bible says judgment is going to begin at the house of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Folks think they, people think God is playing with them, but he's not playing today. Amen. I want you to hear he ain't never played, he ain't playing now. Amen. People just won't take heed to what he's telling them. Amen. 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 How many folks going to get shot, stabbed? Amen. Burned to death and every, any other kind of way you can mention. But you don't know how you're going to leave here. You don't know how and when you're going to die. But you better be ready to leave here and meet your maker one day. You're not going to stay no child forever. As sure as you're born, you're going to grow up. But believe me, you got a soul. And that soul is going somewhere. And if you live like the devil, guess what? You're going to be with the devil and his bunch. Well, Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The devil crowd going to get their reward. That's right. Everybody that live ungodly going to have their reward. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you live to the flesh, you're going to reap. You sow to it, you're going to reap. Right. Praise the Lord. Amen. You're not going to inherit eternal life living like the devil. Amen. Right. Right. Praise the Lord. So many people think they can live like the devil down here and then think they still going to have the Lord. No, we ain't going to have the Lord and the devil too. You either on the Lord's side, you're going to have to get on this side and stay. Amen. Huh? And these little children, the one that's bad, they're going to die and go to hell too. Right. And my grandchildren, you better get your heart right. Amen. You didn't know better. Amen. I don't think you're going to miss hell. You're going to hell You're going to hell right with the devil if you don't line up with the, what God said. Pray, Lord. You can't be bad and go to hell. Right. How many know what I'm saying? Amen. See, there'll come a time when children grow up and they get old enough to understand right and wrong. When that happened, guess what? You're going you to give an account of what you do wrong. Amen. 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 Where the Lord is right. Amen. He said, feed my lamb. Feed my lamb. <laughs> Talking about these children. Right. Little lambs. Uh -huh. Feed them. Right. He said, feed my sheep. Yeah. That's a grown. That's a dove. Uh -huh. 
Isn't that right? Amen. See, a child can get saved at a certain age. They can get saved. Right. But what happens? Children grow up with so much foolishness in their heart, they think they can get away with anything and everything. But I'm going to tell you, you're going to stand before God as sure as I'm born. You're going to give an account of your wrong. It ain't over. You ain't going to do it, and it ain't coming back. It is coming back. God is not going to forget what you're doing. He's going to always remember each and every one of us. He knows the number of your hair on your head. All of us. How many, look what kind of God we talking about tonight. Huh? He knows everybody in here. How many hairs you got on your head? You can't spend your lifetime counting the hair on your head. No, you can't. You can't do it. You can try. But you won't succeed. Or you're going to say, I don't know. That might have been 1,005. Somewhere you're going to lose track. That might have been 300,000. I don't count so many. I just don't even remember. You can't, you can't even, guess what? You got so many, you can't count them. How many know what I'm saying? Amen. But God knows exactly how many, and guess what? He knows how much wrong you done done. He ain't going to forget that either. Amen. It's time for people to be saved. Amen. Ain't no time to play church house. Amen. Oh, if the truth is told, you could have been somewhere where all the destruction been going on. Uh -huh. Huh? Amen. You could have been there. There was some little children in that building, in those towers of New York. There was children that didn't get out of there. As well as adults. Oh, help us, Lord. And folk don't want to be saved. You don't know when something's going to fall or when something's going to crash into you or when it's going to be your last time. We are living in perilous times. We are living in a time when it is sure a time, the Lord, these are the days. And he said, look up, your Redeemer draw it now. Even at the door, and people is getting careless. Say, well, you know, maybe I got a long, no, you ain't got a long time. You may die before you leave here. You may die in your sleep. You ain't saved, guess what? You ain't going to hell. There is a hell. And there are demons. And the devil got his crowd, and believe me, when he bind you up, he going to keep you bound up. That's, what he, that's why he keep, That's why he don't want you to have a mind to live for the Lord. He want to keep you bound up as long as he can. A lot of people don't know truth and mercy and grace. Brother, God's hand is outstretched to reaching out to people and saying, come to me, come to me, come to me. And they're rejecting him all the time. Say, no, I don't think I want to be saved right now. I don't want to live for the Lord. I want to enjoy this life down here. I want to do what I want to do. This is people's mind today. I want to do what I want to do for a while. You don't know when the Lord is going to say, that's it. Your last time, you ain't coming back. You don't know when he's going to say, that's your last chance. People is killing their children. A lady was trying to kill her two boys just this past week, run them down. I mean, she shot one of them and tried to kill her. Other. And I mean, the one of them took off running for his life. And brother, she tried to get him, and a man, he flagged the man down. He had blood all over him from his brother. She was trying to kill this. She was trying to kill him. And he finally flagged this man down and got the man's attention and got the man took him and was going to take him away, and she caught up with him. And the man had to fight his way away from this woman. And the woman was a probation officer. You tell me the devil is, brother, the devil is trying his best to kill all our children, all everybody that he can, trying to destroy. People are playing with God, but it's not no time to play with God. Ain't no time for you to get slack and slow for and even I'm concerned about your spiritual life. The Lord is coming back to this place after a while. 
devil don't love you. He's trying to kill you and destroy your life. Devil don't have no love for you. People don't realize the kind of gospel the world needs today. People don't. I want you to. I want you to have compassion on me. I'm having compassion on you. The Lord is having compassion on you. You don't get up and repent of your sin. You gonna die and go to hell. That's where you're going. People gonna leave here without a chance. They ain't careful. You know when God gonna say that's it. God is calling. Look at the, the destruction in the land. God is calling. But people don't hear him. I don't, I don't think it's going to take all that. This is the mind of the New Age Church. I don't think it take all that today. They got some line preaching the poor pit. It don't take all that. Done live saved for 40 years and going to backslide and die and go to hell. I'm going to put my wig on. I don't think it take all that. You're lying one day. This hole is a hell, baby. Amen. You done come too late to tell me. Amen. You, your wig, and everything else going to perish. Amen. Pants. Amen. Huh? Amen. Little bad children. Amen. You're going to perish. You're going to stoop. You're going to be just like a lobster. Stewing in your ball. Amen. Oh, you mean to say God is that kind of a God? Yes, he is. Amen. You done blaspheme and call God all kind of names? Yes, sir. He going to be that kind of God. Amen. And done rejected him. Yes. How many times is God going to have to call us? How many times is the Lord going to plead with us? Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. This is God calling. Come to me. Why the blood is running on your way? Come to me now. God is pleading. God is pleading and pleading and pleading. And people don't hear what God is telling them. They don't hear nothing God is saying in this generation. They don't turn a deaf ear. I don't think it take all that. That's the generation we in. Hard-hearted, cold, and dead. And brother, and I mean complacent, and brother, after a while, God just leave you alone. Just let you sit in the place you in. Yes. That's right. I don't think that's going to happen to me. God love me. Uh -huh. He going to give me a chance. Didn't realize. Do you understand the horror that took place? Uh -huh. September the 11th. Amen. Right. Somebody was fleeing for their life. Right. Somebody hadn't even heard what was going on. Uh -huh. Somebody was walking down the car. Going down the car, probably with a cup of coffee in their hand, and boom, smoke, fire, and everything. And before they realized they were falling, 90 and 100 stories. Oh, that was tragic. That's right. This whole country was moved by that. The world was touched by it. People that, brother, that have compassion was touched by what they saw. They couldn't believe what was happening. All right. All right. But we sit and feel like, do you realize that's coming a day worse than that? Amen. Worse yeah. than that. Amen. That's why the Lord is pleading, come to me. Come to me. Come to me. I can bring you into safety. Only he can do it. You can't. You can run and hide, but ain't nowhere to run and hide. Brother, when judgment begin to fall, ain't nowhere you can go. If you're not in Jesus, there's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. 
Go to your mailbox. You don't know when you're going to pick up some anthrax. Right? Get all your mail. Go on back into your house. Well, I'm going to sit down and count my mail. Before you know it. Or anything, any other such thing. We're living in perilous times. Huh? Ain't nobody got to drop no bomb on you. Ain't nobody got to throw no plane, brother. These folks, these folks now is trying to kill you. God have mercy. But people don't care about mercy today. That's right, God have mercy. When, when, when Jonah went to Nineveh, guess what? Them people down there were sinners and everything. And they was worshiping idols. They were doing all kinds of stuff. But when Jonah come down there and brother, he said, yet yeah, brother, God going to destroy that place. Uh -huh. Old king heard what he said. See, it's good to hear. Call a fast. Don't feed nothing. We're going to call on God. And guess what? God came. God heard him. And God turned away that destruction that he was going to put up on them. Turned it away. Jonah went down there and stood up on the gourd. They didn't grow. God let a gourd grow up behind him. He done got kind of upset because God didn't let it wrap fall. Jonah sat down and under, he thought the shade was Old gourd sprouted up, provided some shade for him. And then Jonah was sitting there pouting. So God said he was going to destroy these people. This is the way some people is. You rather see all these sinners die before you see them saved. Some people rather see folk die before you rather see them get saved. You know what I say? Shame on you. You got the same attitude like Jonah. And God had to show Jonah something. The people heard what he said. That's right. That's right. Isn't that right? That's right. That's right? Then God let the sun come up and brother the God withered up. Then Jonah got up and looked at the God. He, he had more compassion for the God than he did all of them. Yes, he did. Uh -oh. This is the way folk is now. Amen. He had more sympathy and compassion for a plant that was providing shade for him than he was sinners in the city Amen. that didn't know God. This is the way folk is now. You let the Taliban call it. They'll call you an infidel and everything else. That's right. That's the God you worship in is, as far as they're concerned, ain't God. Right. They'll shoot you where they stand if God don't stop the bullet. Amen. You see what you're dealing with. Amen. Somebody that think they know God. Don't know nothing about God. Everybody in this country not infidels. That's some infidels over in Iran. That's some infidels over in uh, all them countries that over there that's supposed to be coming out, they calling on God. Let me tell you, there's infidels everywhere. Amen. Matter of fact, they is. Amen. Well, they ain't serving the true and living. Right. The one that I know. Amen. So who's the infidel? There's some real saved people here in America. Still. I'm letting you know. And that's, that's what the glue. I keep telling you, they are the glue that's holding this thing together. People don't realize it's saved folk in this country. That's why God, brother, that's why you saw it way off. Even though, brother, I'm going to tell you something. This thing affected the whole, this thing affected everybody. Including everybody in Dallas. Was affected by what happened. God did get our attention. Amen. There's a lot of people ain't serving him like they should, but he got their attention. People need to live for God. Why you think God suffered something like that to happen? He didn't have to let it happen. Don't you know some of them men been over here? Them men been, been trained. You know how long some of them folk been training for this mission? Since 92. Some of them still here. There's a lot of them still here. And I 
It ain't safe as you think it is. You know when you're going to go in a grocery store and boom. Shopping mall, boom. Whole thing go up and turn to white smoke. You don't know that. You better have God. You better know Jesus. That's all I'm going to tell you. It's time to serve the Lord. God is calling and pleading and calling and pleading and calling. How long is he going to keep calling? It look like people, just brother, especially us, we getting worse. I don't want, I ain't got to get saved. Brother, it's folk that been saved. They so reprobate now, it's terrible. They don't believe nothing you tell them. God has turned them over to what they think is right. They don't believe nothing in the way. You start telling them what the words they don't want to hear you. They don't want to hear you. They've been caught away in whatever they in so long, God just doesn't let them have it. There's so many people that's done turned away from God. Oh, they still go to church. They done turned away from God. Sanctified, they ain't want it. They don't believe in that no more. Oh, they, like I said, they can warm a seat. But what about sanctified? We did just like Israel. Well, I don't want nobody laughing at me, mocking me, and making fun of me, what I wear. We so worried about our clothes, what we wear. I don't want nobody missing me by my dress. This is something, some sisters like that. I, I want to be like other sisters, wear makeup. Lipstick and paint my nail. You done left God when you start doing that. Matter of fact, when you start thinking about it, you done left him. You ain't left him when you did it. You left him when you thought of it. This is what, see, sanctification ain't, 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 ain't from the world. It's to separate you from the world. It's not up from the world. It's not of the world. It separates you from it, but it's not of the world. That's why Jesus said, you're in the world, but you're not of the world. We've got so many people thinking that what they're doing is right. You better know you're right. This thing, you ain't, I'm going to tell you something. This thing ain't over at all. And people ain't got any brother, church folk haven't got serious yet. And I'm talking about us, the one that really know the Lord. See, it's different. Somebody that's in these secular church, oh, they, they, and they, they just been always in their way. But you don't know if God, God may just give some of them folk, huh, a real life experience. You know, am I right? He can do it. But that's what he's going to have to do. But what about us, other folk that really walk with the Lord? Brother, people just caught up in spiritualism. They want to shout, thinking they're in the spirit, and keep on going, doing what they're doing. Some of them courting. Oh, yes, they is. But you can't beat them praising God on Sunday morning. Code all the week. All the week long, code. But you can't beat them praising God on Sunday morning. They'll shout harder than anybody. Some of these same folks will shout harder than anybody. This is the thing that's destroying what we really know as what God really is. That's why God was always Huh? Calling his people. So will you steal? Will you lie? Will you commit adultery? And do all those things. And they say we deliver. Do all these abominations. I know this way folks get up in the church on Sunday morning. We can't help ourselves. Paul said, when I would do good, evil was always present. That's the scripture they love to hang on to. Don't realize Paul was talking about before he got saved. 
He was talking about before he got saved. He wasn't talking about while he was saved. Huh? Why did he say, shall, shall we, why did he say, in, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Why did he say that? Why did he say that? If he really meant, meant it like that, when I would do good, evil is always present. He did say that, but that's not what, that's not where it applies. When the Holy Ghost come in, you'll have a victory. Amen. If you don't have a victory, you ought to stay at the altar until you get it. That's right. Don't this is why people did tarry. Uh -huh. This is why people did pray all night sometimes. Because they wanted to make sure they had the right thing. Amen. When they got up and left, they wanted to be certain. I got what it takes. Now folks don't want to pray five minutes. Can't pray five minutes. Well, amen. Yeah. People don't want to pray five minutes. You wake some of them folk up that brother that was in some of them prayer meetings all night long, brother, they'll laugh at you. Yes, they will. They'll mock you. Me, Tim, you, you can't pray five minutes to go. Mm -hmm. Honey, we prayed all night. all night. That's what they'll tell you. Amen. Honey, we prayed all night mm -hmm. for God to move. See, and this is, what, this is what it takes even now. Amen. If you got to stay all night, that's where it is. Yes, huh? Yes, we ought to be, that's the, that's the steadfastness we ought to have. Uh -huh. uh, amen. 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 We ought to want God to move, so whatever it takes, that's what we ought to do. Amen. We ought to be willing to do. Oh, it's going to, oh, don't worry. God going to get our attention. Folk can't pray now, but he, you will pray. That's coming an hour. You're going to pray. Better start praying now. Because you don't know when you're going to pick up one of them envelopes and inhale. Uh -uh. You better have the power. See, the Holy Ghost can keep you from anything. It ain't nothing can touch you. Well, amen. Amen. It ain't nothing. He said, if you should drink any deadly thing, what? Right. It shall not by any means hurt you. Right. So it don't make no difference what somebody's saying. The Holy Ghost will resist everything Amen. and anything. Amen. But how many folks are teaching that today? Not a whole lot. No, we want to do what we want to do and still have our claim to fame and think we all right. It ain't gonna be. We can't have it both ways, huh? We're gonna be either. We're gonna be sanctified and holy, or we not. Amen. And that's all God is coming back for. God is coming back for sanctified and holy. Amen. You're not coming back after them folk that done started out and quit. So you did run well, but who hindered you? Uh -huh. that's what he said. That you should not obey the truth. And there's a lot of people not obeying the truth today. Can't gain a sinner. Am I right? Amen. Doing what the sinner do. Can't gain it. If I'm going to live like him, I may as well get on out there. Don't let me stand up here. Isn't that right? Don't let me stand up here. I'm gonna be, if I'm going to be a sinner, I may as well go on out in the street. I'm going to stand up behind the pulpit and be a sinner. That's the worst kind of sinner. Amen. Amen. The Lord loves everybody. Amen. And he is not, God is not without compassion. Amen. But God has been pleading and pleading and pleading and pleading. Amen. Amen. Our children, I want these children to know you ain't going to live forever. Not living forever. Ain't nobody gonna live forever. You gonna shed this, 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 this suit God put you in. You gonna get out of it. Everybody. We're gonna have to get out of this. We're gonna get out of it. 
and let it get out of it. You know what's so beautiful? The church, when the Lord come back, we're going to be called up to meet him in the air. Say the dead in Christ shall rise first. They that remain shall be caught up with him in the cloud. Saying, so shall we ever be with the Lord. But you know what? The dead that sleep, gonna sleep. I'm talking about the wicked and unrighteous dead. They gonna stay there. They ain't getting up. Revelation 26, they bless and hold as he who have part in the first resurrection. That's the first resurrection. But the wicked dead, the unrighteous dead, they gonna lay there. They ain't getting up. See, the Lord know everybody that's his. He ain't make no mistake. When he went to Lazarus' tomb, he didn't call everybody. He called Lazarus, didn't he? He didn't say, dead, get up. Everything, in it, everything that was dead would have stood fast. If he didn't say, dead, ride, all oh, everything that was dead would have got up. That's how much power Jesus got. He is the creator of our life. Amen. He didn't call the dead. He said, Lazarus, come forth. And Lazarus was the only one who came out of the tomb. Still wrapped up in his grave clothes. Been dead four days. But the Lord put him back in his natural body just like he was before he got sick and died. Then let you know, God, Jesus is the life and the light of men. Say, Jesus is the light that shineth in me. That shineth in me. Am I right? Amen. Jesus is the light. Praise the Lord. They sing this song, Walk in the Light. The beautiful light. Huh? Come where the dew drops and mercy shine bright. Shine all around me by day. I used to hear them old saints saying that. By day and by night. Jesus, the light of the world, walk in. Jesus is the light and the light. And that life is the light of men. That's why he was able to call last because he said, I am the resurrection and the life. Isn't that wonderful? He's going to call us all one day. He don't make no difference if we fall asleep. He's going to still wake us up. He's not going to forget. He's not going to forget no one that loves him and that serves him. He is never going to forget. Because your name is in the book of remembrance. Isn't that wonderful? But the unrighteous dead and wicked dead going to stay for the second death, which is the lake of fire. Isn't that sad? That's going to be worse. Brother, let me help you here. I'm going to say something. I'm getting ready to stop a minute. Let me tell you something. A minute in hell is like a lifetime. It may as well be because you ain't never coming out. Why would somebody want to stay in torment throughout eternity? And eternity is without end. There's no end to eternity. And that's the message I heard growing up. Eternity. Is where people going to spend eternity without God that wasn't saved. And brother, when I found out what eternity was, it's without end. Forever. One minute is like a day. A day is like a thousand years. May as well be because you're never coming out of there. Isn't that sad? The torment is forever and ever and ever. And it never, it's never quenched. In other words, it never ease up and let up. Isn't that something? See, quench means it ain't going to never break. There's no break, no easing up. You know, just like you're in a, you, you go and take a test or something, and they'll say, well, we're going to have a recess for about 15 or 20 minutes. Y'all can go out and stretch yourself and get you a drink of coffee, and we'll come back and meet after that. That ain't the way it is. Ain't no, ain't no in between. When you, brother, when folk land in hell and in the lake of fire, it's forever. And it will never be quenched. 
It's just going to continue to get more intense, more intense, and more intense. It'll never ease up. If somebody want to stay like that. It's going to be a long time. The Lord is calling. But who's going to answer? Are we going to answer the Lord? He's calling. We don't know when our last day. When? People is making decisions. And they're making lifetime decisions. Making lifetime decisions. In other words, it may be the last one you make. God is calling. He don't want us to perish. It is not his will for us to perish. But for all to come to repentance. When I got up here tonight, I got up here thinking, well, you know, I had thought, well, we know we don't know. Well, you know, you always you always think within yourself, well, whatever the Lord say, where the Lord has said. The Lord has spoken. Time to do what the Lord say. Praise the Lord.